All right, next up, we have Sheoldred against Nif Mizzet Parun, a deck that I haven't seen for quite some time. And I think Sheoldred is a very difficult matchup for them because their commander draws cards and Sheoldred is about to punish that with the triggered ability. Starting with some lands, discard spell and winter moon. I think it's okay. So we see Venzer revealed Shadow Skull. Nothing too exciting. I think I take away the Venzer because I just want to make sure that she ordered stays on board. Once she resolves, five toughness is hard to deal with as an Izzet player. And maybe I can also find a way to make use of this Winter Moon, which will be my follow up play. Urborg might give me some later options with cable coffers but so far i try to stall the game so that they're not going to be able to cast nif too early there's a talisman could have also taken a talisman but that would still i mean by by the time i play she older she would resolve but then they can cast Venzer, bounce her back. Probably not the best option. And here I just cast my Winter Moon because I have nothing else to do. So my starting hand is not the strongest one, definitely debatable, but I thought it was okay. There's a Field of Rune. And now, I mean, they still have Otavara, so they can bounce Shieldred end of turn. Using Otavara, Shadow Skull smashing is kind of useless. But the land is gone. Next turn I can just recast her. We will see. They, they will play Cascade Bluffs, I think. For some reason they don't. Which is a bit of a blunder. And here I have Shieldred again. They have no response. Now there is a first trigger. Or did they? No, actually, they played a, an island, right? Yeah, they played an island instead of the bluffs. So now there is Nif Mizzet. My skeletal crying is okay. It's not too crazy, but it's okay. Um, I get my draw trigger, go up to 20. I can cast the Mutilate to get rid of Nif Mizzet, which I will probably do. I could also exile the two cards and, and look for more answers. Actually, not sure anymore what was the decision here. I think I just attacked and uh, played the Mutilate. So yeah, they're def probably not blocking. Why would they do that? Trading a creature for free, then I can just recast it. Okay, and I decide to draw the cards instead. Yeah, why not? And now I draw two cards. So first I play the instant sorcery, then it triggers. They lose two life. Then I get one damage. Draw two cards, get back four life. And that's actually not too bad. I drew a Collector's Brutality and I can choose both modes. Checking their hand for any combat piece. Combat piece I mean, not combat. So another draw, so they're losing two more life. I can just get rid of the Smashing or the Lightning Bolt. It's probably the lightning bolt because the rest seems useless here. They lose two more life. I go up to 22. And the thing is, they have nothing to get rid of Shieldred at that point. Drawing cards will cause them to lose more life. Hmm. 
So that doesn't look too promising here. So, yeah, they can concede for obvious reasons. We go over to the second one. And now this hand looks, yeah, not very promising. This doesn't look too good either, but mm, I mean, the golem spite is kind of meh. I have an inquisition, which might be able to get rid of some mana rock or something. Again, slowing slowing them down or taking away a crucial counter spell, something like this. So the, the reason I did not stick to the blood send my is that I want to make sure to have as much life as possible. Because one sniff missile is on board and there is the right combination of cards, they can run you over quickly. I drew a Thought Seize. I take away a Flame of Arno, that seems to be the best card. Brotherhood's End is not the best card against me. Miscalculation might find something. And, well, the Preordain is just a cantrip. And I can also just take away one of the other cards if my Inquisition resolves. And it does. There's a Mystic Confluence, and I take away the miscalculation and play the expedition map which can later find a cable coffers to make more and more mana and now there is the preordain snow covered mountain i know that one too they might have Gotten a, another counter spell. No information on that. But yeah, the expedition map can now find the cable coffers together with the Ursus Cave. I can get Warbok into game two. Onto the battlefield, I mean. There's a steam vents, nothing too crazy. I crack the map. Search for the coffers. For some reason, I search for Urborg. Well, at that point, it doesn't, it would net me one mana, which is not too crazy. It would have been better to uh, go for, go for the Cable Coffers, actually, because I already have a couple of Swarms. And then I can also use the remaining mana to activate the cave and search for Urborg for whatever reason I did it the other way around. But here I have a Eugen. Eugen is great. Not a bad card. So I just pass the turn, have nothing else to do. If there's a small creature hitting the battlefield, something like a Snapcaster Major or a like, I could make use of my Golem Spite. Instead, there is a Prismari Command. Which is better to be casted once Shieldred is not on the battlefield. But yeah, I decide to crack the cave now to make sure they don't have any Tail's End or other effect that would not allow me to find my land. Next turn, together with the Orborg, there will be an Ujin cast. Now there we go, about to play of Mizzet. Mystic Confluence. In hand, two other unknown cards. There's Urborg. So Eugen can deal with Nef Mizzet for minus six. It's not the craziest interaction, but they have to deal with Eugen still. So they have to use one of their shocks, bolts, whatsoever, in order to get rid of it. Otherwise, I, I have the chance to run away. And 
There's a seal of fire. That's perfectly fine. So my turn again. <clears throat> and here I just recast three Aldred. Even have one mana left. Field of Rune is a card that I felt was most often useless in this in this pile overall you don't you don't see this card played very often because playing three mana in total for the effect is very expensive and the impact is not too crazy either most of the time so there is a mystic confluence i can't pay the additional two but he paid five mana to counter spell and draw cards which is basically a cryptic command for one mana more that's okay there's a brainstorm going up to five. Next turn, I will just I will just read, play Shieldred, slam her all over again. But they will also find a way to get back Nif Mizzet. There's an ice tapping my coffers. That's good. That's good. That's really good. <clears throat> she ordered costs eight, so I cannot recast her now. I play this one. I could also wait for the Duras for next turn, but yeah. There's Venza. I have that information. That's at least a target for my Golden Sprite. They could even think about bouncing cable covers, but that's not too crazy. Fetching to get rid of the top cards. Most likely this will be an island into niv cast next turn. And here we go. <clears throat> so, I find a spell bomb. Could be better, but it's also not, not too bad. Nine mana, cast your old red, cast a Neil spell bomb, and then I can crack it, draw a card right away, get rid of their graveyard. I decide not to do that. <clears throat> so interesting. They decide to target She Aldred. Mm -hmm. There is a lightning bolt. And that's what I was talking about. Like, you have all the, the triggers generated by drawing instant and sorceries. And you have, you're drawing tons of cards, so you lose so much life. So I'm going to crack the Spellbomb here again. Yeah, now I draw the Grief. Would have been better to have that at... Uh, Sorcery speed last turn. There's an attack. I go down to 15. I can activate the field. Doesn't really do that much here. It rather nerfs my Winter Moon. But Winter Moon is not too crazy here anymore. Anyway, so I'll just use it. <clears throat> find myself another swamp and next turn well we have to see i have a profane tutor ah oh, that's a bit clunky but i will definitely make use of that so i know that he has the profane uh, the, the venzer in hand actually so i cast grief first And if they decide to bounce that, I can cast Grief again by pitching Profane Tutor, for example. And maybe I whiff, maybe they just have a land. <clears throat> I can also just slam Shieldred now, which I will probably do because they're 
left with one spell in hand. And she already resolves. So no additional mana to use the Profane Tutor, but it, I think Profane Tutor is not relevant here anyways. With niv sticked on board, I don't have too much time, to be honest. So here's the first draw. There's again a damage deal to any target. Next turn, well, I have the Golem Spite up. I could block Venza if that's needed. I can also get rid of Venza. Mm, I can decrease niv power if that's useful at some point. But as long as I can't find a impactful card, something like, well, the, the best ones are obviously Necrodominance and Necropotence. Necropotence wouldn't be too crazy here. Necrodominance is, is definitely always the better one because you draw cards and you gain back life. Um, I would like to have something like this. Maybe an interaction spell for Nifmizid would be great too. Or something to dump your mana into is also okay. As long as it helps getting back control. So it seems... They well, they haven't selected a target, and here I'm a bit sleepy about passing the priority, it seems. Again, it seems they targeted She Aldred. Okay. Why not? There's a Mystic Sanctuary gaining back the bolt. Pretty good. And then there's a Lorien Revealed. That's a costly Lorien Revealed. That's crazy. Losing six life to draw the cards. That's pretty crazy. And at that point I thought, hmm, well, maybe I should have... Maybe I should have used the Grief to check their hand again. But also, I'm dealing couple of, of actually eight damage due to the additional trigger right so that's that's not too bad yeah and here i decide before she ordered leaves i use the golem spite to get rid of venza they get another trigger they lose two more life And now I have a couple of outs, actually. There is the spell that I still can't pronounce correctly. Uh, it's a spree spell from Outlaws of Thunder Junction, which for three black mana lets, your, lets any player draw three cards, but then they lose three life. You can also go for Sign and Blood, which also shocks the opponent. Yeah, and here they had some quick math. Chain Lightning Bolt... Additional damage. I mean, they have five cards in hand. It's very likely that there will be something else added. Anger of God deals the last last damage. So definitely a mistake to not play the Grief here. I was too optimistic that there was anything going on that could save them the game this hand looks fine thought sees arcane signet so a turn three she aldred i have that of winter it's not too hard to get on on five uh, snow covered swamps actually we have reanimate to get back she aldred maybe in the same turn quite a good hand merc tide mana leak lorian revealed very blue heavy but also, now that I took away their only interaction for my Shieldred, at least for now, it's... Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good. 
And there, there we go. Insatiable avarice, average. Probably more like Everice. Maybe Everice. Um, yeah, that's the card I was talking about. Pretty nice. Well positioned in that deck. Turn three, I go for my She Oldred cast, hoping for him not to have a counter spell. I'm not sure anymore whether or not they actually have a counter spell. Seems they don't. Good for me. Passing the turn. Now they have to deal with a 4 5. And yeah, the, I really like the Everest one. Once uh, she ordered is on board, it deals nine damage to your opponent. So that's something you usually can't really calculate, or you don't expect from an MBC deck. So that's definitely quite a cool line. And for some reason, my opponent just scoops the game because they don't find their additional land. And yeah, that's it. Quite an abrupt ending. Thanks for for being with me, and see you in the next one.